Hello there and welcome to the third installment of OTR Performance's Tableside Chats. I'm your host, Jameson Kern, and in this video, we will be discussing forced regeneration. What is forced regeneration? Regeneration or regen of the DPF filter is the process that burns the soot accumulation that is inside the DPF filter. Educating yourself on what a forced regeneration is and how it works will help you understand your after treatment system better. A forced regeneration is performed when a diagnostic scan tool starts the regeneration process. The forced regeneration overrides the soot accumulation or soot levels that are calculated in the ECM. The DPF soot load could be too high for a passive or active regeneration to occur, causing the condition where it is required to perform a forced regeneration. A forced regeneration is the highest level of the regeneration processes, and you will need a special diagnostic tool to start this process. If I replace a DPF differential pressure sensor or knock sensor, do I need to perform a regeneration? Yes. Some trucks do require you to perform a forced regeneration before it will clear certain fault codes. The reason for this is that the ECU wants to see that a forced regeneration is performed in order to clear the codes. Here's an example. Say you have a 2013 Volvo D13 with an SPN 4094 FMI1 SCR conversion efficiency low code being thrown at you. A forced regeneration is required to clear this fault code. The measurement of our PPM or parts per million between the inlet NOx1 sensor and outlet NOx2 are out of range and are causing this fault code. It's recommended to check the EGR and NOx sensors to make sure the, the PPM is within the required specifications in order for this fault code to clear. The ECU will make this fault code go inactive only when a forced regeneration passes with the values in the required range. This is an example of where a fault code requires a forced regeneration. How much does this cost? A forced regeneration can be performed by any service shop with the appropriate diagnostic software. The cost for a forced regeneration varies. Generally, it is somewhere between 300 and 700, depending on the technician's required diagnostic time and the length of time your DPF regeneration lasts. Is there a way I can save money and do a forced regeneration myself? OTR has developed a service tool that will perform a forced regeneration that is automated, easy to use, and will perform a forced regeneration at the dealer level. We have this available for Cummins, Volvo, Mac, Detroit Diesel, and Packard engines. And more coverage will be coming soon, so sign up on our email list to stay in the loop. This tool is portable and lightweight, so you can take it with you on your travels and use it anywhere you are. How often do I need to run a forced regeneration? It all depends on the fault codes associated with the after treatment system. As a preventable measure to ensure your DPF filters are clean, you can do this on a bi-weekly or even a monthly basis. Well, that's it for another OTR Performance Tableside Chat. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and check us out at otrperformance.com or on Facebook. I'm your host, Jameson Kern, and keep on trucking.